So I wanna talk about a post that I saw from Yu-Gi-Oh! Memes on Facebook the other day that I thought was a rather interesting point of discussion, especially since there are a lot of people that like Master Duel and a lot of people also that don't like it. If you saw my video, you know I'm one of them. So let's just dive right into it, shall we? So I was an idiot and took a photo of the post, not realizing, hey, idiot, you got to use your phone to record. But what's going on, guys? It's your boy Avery here, and I already have the post memorized, so it's not like it really matters. And you're going to be seeing it here somewhere on your screen on the left or right-hand side. But uh, you'll be able to read it for yourself. But um, essentially, what Yu-Gi-Oh! Memes 2.0, whoever the owner of the Facebook post, or the page, rather, was talking about was that... In the real-life game of Yu-Gi-Oh!, we have things like Forbidden Droplets, we have Pot of Prosperity, we have Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer, which isn't 100 dollars it's only 70 to 75 but it's still a lot of money. Uh, all of these cards that I just mentioned are $100 and even higher than that. You look at Prosperities, they're currently $130. So the post talked about, y'all don't know how to be grateful, and it shows. We have this free simulator that you can grind out, get free cards in, uh, and you don't have to spend $100 plus dollars on your cards in order to be competitive. Here is my <sighs> comeback to that, for lack of a better term. When you spend money on cards, you are getting a physical item. You are getting a piece of cardboard that has monetary value, whether it be for a couple weeks at $100 plus dollars, and then it dips down to, let's say, $50 because of a reprint, or it's a high-priced card. You look at something like Potted Duality, the original Secret Rares out of Duelist Revolution, are a lot of money right now. And that's because that over time, as years go by, cards go back up in price. What is it that you are gaining value from out of Master Duel? Now, you can make the argument, well, if I spend $5 in Master Duel, then that $5 is going to go farther than $5 in the actual game. And to that, I will agree with. However, I'm not familiar with the storefront of Master Duel. I'm going to assume it's something like, you know, you can get a pack of cards for, let's say, 10 gems, just as an example. You spend money to get 10 gems, which you're not going to be able to spend money for just 10 gems. They're going to make you get 100 gems, which was, let's just say, 5 bucks for sake of argument. You spend $5 on your 100 gems, you get your packs. Congratulations, you got multiple cards for $5. Now, what happens in Master Duel if Konami releases a ban list specifically for Master Duel, like they do with Duel Links, but they ban some of the cards, or they limit, semi-limit, some of those cards? Are they going to be prepared, unlike Hearthstone was, where they started having FTKs in their game, so Hearthstone ended up banning cards and people got pissed because they did not have physical cards to play with and Hearthstone locked them out of playing those cards entirely. Konami needs to be prepared for that because you are not having physical cards that you can own and play with. You are essentially owning... I can't believe I'm saying this, but essentially an NFT, if you even want to call it that. Like, it's it's digital. It's, it's invisible. You don't have that physical cardboard. You don't have that physical value. If I spend $20 on a super rare Max C, I spent my harder money of $20, I'm holding on to that Max C. Let's say in five months from now, they unban Max C. That card's going to go to the moon, and I just made money. I have that physical card value. It's not about being ungrateful. It's the fact that Master Duel is just a garbage game. You're not playing with the real TCG balance. You're playing with the OCG balance plus a few things from the TCG. So yeah, your money can go farther in a free-to-play game because that's the design. It's not like Konami purposefully designed Forbidden Droplets and Pot of Prosperity to be $100 plus. That is what the secondary market values those cards at. And value is superfluous. It's only what someone is willing to pay for. You know, take, for example, Judgment Dragon Ultimate Rares out of Turbo Pack from years ago. You know, those cards are over $100. But me, looking at Judgment Dragon, I may say, well, I only am willing to pay $20. And to me, it's only worth $20. That's how value works, but the market speaks for itself. The market says this is over a hundred dollars based upon the printing, based amount, based upon the amount of circulation of this card in the game. Konami obviously has the ability to determine which cards are 
harder to get, hence the rarities. Unless you get cases, then you're guaranteed certain things just based upon the math. It all works out in the end. So I don't know why people are like, oh, this is a great thing because your money goes farther in Master Duel because you can do all these things. You can break down old cards for currencies that you can use to get new cards. But it's like, bleh. Okay, good for you. What happens if they ban those cards? You you don't have those cards at all. And in fact, what's funny about this is that you don't have to spend any money at all. You don't have to go to Master Duel and spend money on gems. You can either grind them out, get the cards for free, and then if they get hit, yeah, sure, you don't care. Or you just don't have to do any of that. You don't have to do any grinding because you can go to Dueling Book, Dueling Nexus, EDO Pro, YGO Omega, and you get all the cards for free. They're all unlocked from the start, especially Dueling Book. This was really funny because a buddy of mine was telling me that a couple of our mutual friends were grinding out Master Duel hard. And he said, hey, you know, why not if you end up wanting to join in, you know, let's all do a little tournament together. We all put five bucks in and whoever wins gets the pot. I'm like, yeah, I'm down for that, but I'm not going to do it on Master Duel. I refuse to grind for four hours just to get a top tier deck. Make an account on Dueling Book. We can play with that exact same format under custom games or just in an unrated game. We can determine the ban list ourselves, and we'll all put five bucks in the pot. We'll PayPal each other, you know, whatever. Y'all PayPal me the money when I slap you with the current format. Like, <laughs> that that's what you can do. You get all the cards for free. I don't have to grind out Master Duel. I can play little tournaments with my buddies and swack them with whatever deck they're playing, and then I can, you know play adventure phantom knights i can play adventure stun that i've been working on for the new format which deck profile to come very soon for that so guys let me know what you think in the comments what do you think about this post that i've been having up on the screen here about all of this you know again you don't have to spend any money when you can use a free simulator that is not konami approved obviously but who cares i mean dueling network is around for god knows how long and konami took that down and you know that's like playing whack-a-mole they're going to take down a couple and 10 more are going to pop up so why waste your time with master duel when you can have all the cards that you want anyway and if you want to play that format with friends who says you got to do master duel why not go to dueling book and play that format play however kind of rules that you want it's not like it's hard to set up a dueling book account it's literally in your freaking browser you just go to the website so Yu-Gi-Oh memes it's not about being ungrateful it's the fact that the game doesn't have a real ban list. It doesn't distinguish between which ban list you want to use. It's just a garbage game. Why would you ever grind out anything when you have access to all the cards in a different simulator that gives you a ranking system? Don't use a ranking system as an excuse when it has nothing to do with that when other simulators have ranking systems. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video.